Hi. Yeah. Well, hello, YouTube. You're the star. <laughs> <laughs> so, Court of the Dead is a sideshow original intellectual property. So it's kind of like something we created so we can make statues of like what we think is cool too. And in the past, we've made standalone individual statue statements, um, which is part of like a dead line. But we want to have kind of a story that could bring a lot of these together, give collectors a little more meaning to their, you know, like all these pieces, give a little more backstory, a little more context. So we created something called Core of the Dead. And the short, like, the short pitch for it, it's kind of like Game of Thrones in the underworld where there's a lot of scheming and politicking and everything to figure out like who's going to rule the underworld. So there's basically a war between heaven and hell and the underworld's kind of caught in between. And basically, there's a story where heaven and hell are both kind of in their own way like antagonists or bad guys and the underworld are like the true protagonists. But in the world of Core of the Dead, there's a lot of backstabbing, you know, trying to figure out who ambition, you know, ladder climbing and stuff. So the main character is Shard, who is the girl with the two swords. She's a human that came, that death picked from the, uh, the realm of the living, and she came into the underworld. And there's three different factions that kind of work within the underworld. There is spirit, flesh, and bone. And she's kind of being pulled between the three different factions, and she's trying to figure out her way to like succeed and be the ultimate, essentially the ultimate warrior in the underworld, preparing for this big war of heaven and hell. So, death is kind of building an army for when this war happens, and Shard becomes kind of like the eventually, in a way, we're thinking of her as like the potential lead general that will like lead this, like lead them to victory. That one looks awesome. Who's yeah. responsible for this one? Here? Oh, so that was like so we work with a bunch of different. Uh, artists on the team in Outhouse. So Simon Lee worked on one of the original design maquettes of this. Who's, he's an amazing sculptor. I designed the mask on him, which is up top. Worked with uh, Alfred, Alfred, who's an in-house sculptor. He worked on a lot of this. Nathan Mansfield is an in-house sculptor. So he has two. Is this the one? This is the one you worked on and the other one as well? Yeah. Or just, yeah. Oh, oh, I, I designed this one specifically. So. Good job. Thanks, man. So, and then we have an amazing cut and sew department, great paint team, so it's like, it's a whole team effort. Amilcar Fong, who's one of our lead designers, worked on uh, the design of this guy as well. I got that one on order. I'm oh yeah? Considering this one here. The Jester, yeah, Mel Bester, she's awesome. I love the colors in them, because a lot of these are very like earth tones, you know, and this guy gets a lot of punch. And I just love the, the way that scroll, so that's, the scroll kind of tells the story between uh -huh. heaven and hell and the battle they're fighting, so that's it. I love I was, the base even, all the details. So Mark Newman sculpted this piece. He's actually the So I was hoping to see that other. Uh, oh, the skull face. Yeah. So we're still working on. Oh, that okay. One. So um, I mean, there, we have it, but we want to just bring the main. This is main look. So next show we'll probably have both, maybe switch it out every other day or something like that. And this is a brand new take on uh, Gethsemane. I noticed we, that. She was one of our first pieces in the lines. This is kind of our new version of her to different it's a totally new sculpt even though some people think it's the same one it's a variant but Mark Newman completely re this ground up new design new armor design new headdress design weapons new base yeah I, I, you know. I wouldn't confuse this one with the other this is she's the leader of the flesh faction and she looks good and we got Zyle this is designed by Mil Fong, who's also here, and sculpted by Pablo Vigiano in Argentina. And then, again, like, amazing cut and sew team working on this, the paint team. And she is the leader of the bone faction. Nice. So we got Demothile. So Demothog, he was kind of, this is a, a new version of him where we gave it a new base, uh, we tweaked some things on the armor, what comes with him, the cut and sew is altered a little bit as well. He doesn't come with the alternate arm with the sword or the original uh, helmeted head either. So so we didn't want to take away what, when collectors got the original one, didn't want to take away from that version. But he was also originally designed as part of the, the dead one. We made a bunch of different individual standalone pieces. And he was kind of the inspiration for starting for the dead. So we wanted to bring him back more officially this is Ravlatch. This guy <laughs> used to work at Sideshow. Yeah, he used to work at Sideshow, and then he had a he he could only take so much of Tom Gill land before he uh, <laughs> looked like that. So. 
He's now in the uh, underworld. And so I bought that book that you guys have. Yeah. Are other of those characters coming down? More, oh yeah, so we're, work, we're currently working on a, a bunch of new designs for new product that you'll see a couple of them at Comic-Con and a couple of them later in the year as well. Uh, they may or may not, you know, hope, hope, we're hoping that our intentions are met at Comic-Con and possibly New York Comic-Con in, in the future, but we're definitely, this isn't the end of the line. We're bringing out new characters Similar to, I guess, how many we're also bringing out new versions of a couple of our most popular characters. So this Comic Con, we're going to see new characters. Yeah, you're going to see some new ones. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so thank you so yeah, much for your totally, time, man. I appreciate What's your name? That. David. You're David. Yeah, I'm David. Nice yeah. to meet you, David. Good name, David. <laughs>